Hello, this is Derek Wilson with CDO Advisors, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create this dashboard that I've put together that takes supermarket sales data, transaction level data for a few months of data, and build out a dashboard and get lots of different insights while teaching you how Power BI works. So just to run through what you'll be learning, I've got a sales overview template here that tells me my different branches, San Antonio, Houston, and Dallas. I've got a time dimension down here. I've imported a custom visualization from the marketplace. I have a matrix that tells me what was sold by product line, how many, what the price was at the unit level. I also added new tabs so I can see by product line what actually happened. And I'll go through all this. You can see this is pretty messy right now. But if I click on electronic accessories, everything filters to electronic accessories. I have also imported a decomposition tree to walk you through how that works. So if you want to see exactly, you know, of my total, what happened, how did I get there? Uh, you know, who's making the purchases of where and what type of product. And then I did a, a deeper dive on the, the bits of information I have about the member, whether they're male, female, if they're normal, meaning that they don't have a membership or if they do have a membership and how do those uh, information affect you know, if you're a normal member, I can filter all that information out. So anyway, this is the overview of what we're actually going to be building. And it uses lots of the core components of Power BI with the canvas. Uh, I'm going to show you how to manipulate data inside of your imported data set using Power Query to change some things up. So I hope you enjoy it. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.